him. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, thanks for your time today. Um, you are here commenting on the President's budget and the agency that will collect the money for, to enact our next budget is the Internal Revenue Service. They are tasked with collecting over $3 trillion, as you know. You made an argument that one of the things that they need is more resources, and let us set that aside for a moment. Um, the other thing they need is a reputation. They need a reputation as calling balls and strikes. They need a reputation as being a fair agency. So resources and reputation are at the foundation for any tax collection that is going to have integrity. I thought it was interesting that in your, your remarks and in your written testimony, you didn't talk about the reputation of the Internal Revenue Service and the damage that has uh, happened in the past couple of years. Back in the summer of 2013, when you were asked on national television, you dismissed it, that's my word, but you were fairly dismissive in that you characterized it as a phony scandal. Now, this committee made a referral to the Attorney General um, last year, and I assume you have read the referral letter and the supporting documents, haven't you? I have seen it. And in light of that, you wouldn't characterize this as a phony scandal, would you? Well, Congressman, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to, to discuss the reputation of the IRS and Let's. these issues. Um, I think that the IRS is doing an extraordinarily effective job under very difficult circumstances where they've been underfunded and not given the resources to do one of the most important jobs that any government does, running its revenue service. I have acknowledged from the beginning that the actions that took place with regard to the issues that are of uh, concern there were very bad and they involved a small number of people at the IRS. We took immediate action to discipline uh, the, the people involved to make sure that the supervisors who were responsible are no longer there. And uh, we have, I think, if you look at the way the IRS is managed under very difficult circumstances, we're, we are with less resources processing uh, tax returns efficiently. We are using the online tools to, as much as possible, fill in for where we don't have people to answer the phones. And we are processing refunds in a timely way. Um, but Secretary, to, 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 to dismiss this down to, um, you know, just there were some bad actors, here is my question. What have you done to prevent a Lois Lerner 2.0 situation? So think about it. Lois Lerner was the person who put together a panel of three senior career employees that had to um, be the threshold before an audit could happen. Lois Lerner was then the person that went around that very safeguard that she structured. She said in an email where she really was quite aggressive with one of her employees, and this is after two times this three panel. Um, this three-person panel that said, look, we're not, we're not going to pursue it. She writes then, I reviewed the information and thought the allegations in the documents were really damning, so wondered why we hadn't done something with the org. As I've told you before, I don't think your guys get it. Mr. Secretary, what is it that you've done, other than calling this a phony scandal on national television, what have you done to make sure that Lois Lerner 2.0 is not possible. Because to simply say, well, it's just a small group of rogue employees, or frankly, in your other interview, when you said, well, these are no political employees were behind this, that's just hiding behind an adjective. You know that there's only two political appointments at the Internal Revenue Service. One is, that the, one is the director and one is the GC. Congressman, I think if you look at the Inspector General report that came out, we followed all the recommendations of the Inspector General report. We have made clear that the behavior at issue there was unacceptable. It cannot happen again. We have a new commissioner, new senior officials who are very much aware of the fact that it is their responsibility to make sure things like that don't happen. So I actually take issue with the notion that we've dismissed it. We haven't dismissed it. It's one thing to take actions in response to what happens with a small number of people in a large agency. It's another thing to condemn the whole agency, which is what I believe many are doing, and that's wrong. Well, I don't think there's a condemnation of the entire agency, Mr. Secretary, but I think that is when, when the administration is essentially comes before this committee for years and said there's no problem, 
and then senior members of the administration are dismissive. Don't you understand how that is corrosive? Yeah. I, I don't believe we've been dismissive. I oh, when, when it's that. characterized yeah. as a phony scandal, that's dismissive. I, I think that, that is off with you. Be lively. We've got this under control. We don't want to hear it anymore. There's nothing more dismissive than calling it phony. I yield back. Thank you. Um,